Today, we bring a quick comparison of two major political parties of Canada what they stand for, and what are their values and policies. The values and policies of the Canadian Liberal Party and the Conservative Party of Canada often differ across various issues, reflecting their respective political ideologies. While it's important to note that these stances can evolve over time, today we will examine a general comparison based on the values and policy positions that are supposed to be the foundation for these parties. Let's talk about Canadian Liberal Party first. Progressive Values The Liberal Party has traditionally supported progressive values such as inclusivity, diversity, and social equality. They often prioritize policies that promote multiculturalism, LGBTQ rights, and gender equality. Centrist Approach the Liberal Party has adopted a centrist stance on many issues, aiming to find a balance between social welfare and economic growth. They often emphasize the importance of fiscal responsibility while supporting government intervention in certain areas to address social challenges. Environmental Policies The Liberal Party has shown a commitment to environmental protection and sustainability, with a focus on reducing carbon emissions, investing in clean energy, and supporting initiatives to combat climate change. Strong Federal Government the Liberal Party tends to support a strong federal government with a focus on national unity and a centralized approach to certain policy matters, such as health care and social welfare programs. Now, let's talk about Conservative Party of Canada. Fiscal Conservatism The Conservative Party generally advocates for lower taxes, reduced government spending, and a balanced budget. They often prioritize economic growth and emphasize the importance of free market principles and entrepreneurship. Traditional Values the Conservative Party has traditionally emphasized traditional family values and social conservatism, supporting policies aligned with these values, such as opposing changes to traditional definitions of marriage and family structure. Decentralization The Conservative Party often advocates for decentralization, supporting the transfer of powers and responsibilities to the provinces and territories. They emphasize the importance of regional autonomy and local decision-making on certain policy matters. Tough on crime approach the Conservative Party typically supports tougher stances on law and order, advocating for stricter penalties for criminals and emphasizing the importance of public safety and security. It's essential to recognize that both parties have diverse views within their memberships, and their policies can shift over time in response to changing political dynamics and societal needs. Understanding these differences can help voters make informed decisions during elections and contribute to a deeper understanding of the Canadian political landscape. Therefore, please vote responsibly. Thank you. Now let's discuss how Justin Trudeau has not only deviated from his party principles but violated trust of Canadian people many time over in the last eight years. He has become more of an authoritarian than a socialist, and there are tons of recent examples of government interference in justice, corruption, truckers protest, parents protest, many ethics corruption violations and above all the debt he has put on the Canadians by borrowing huge, way larger than normal, money for government spending which eventually Canadians will have to pay through inflation, housing food groceries prices. There are positives of spending money if it is invested in infrastructure, technology and growth for the country but not handouts and scandals which is what is currently happening. Even if Pierre wins the next election he may not have options or choices to fix the economy quick enough primarily due to the severely broken economy and debt Trudeau has put us under. It may take another decade to undo the damage Trudeau has already caused and ongoing. What are your thoughts? Please let us know in the comments.